I don't get it. And you said that he took his own life. So why does Tim blame you for what happened? No idea. Does he think that you drove him to it? Who cares what he thinks? Well, you must. You're trying to track him down. So Mum... Mum really loved John. And she thought he loved her. I might have loved him too. I've told you. He wasn't a nice man. He was my dad, and I didn't even get to know him. And I'm glad you didn't. You know, after he threatened me, I remember bouncing you up and down on my knee and thinking to myself, no way is that thug going to take you away from me. You got a picture of him? What? I'd like to know what he looked like. Why aren't you listening to me? He held me in his arms. He didn't want you. And I couldn't bear the thought of you ever finding out what a nasty piece of work your birth father was. And you wouldn't have if Tim hadn't found the radio show. Why are you scared of him? <laughs> I'm not. Well, you've hired Dean to track him down. No, I just wanted him to pay him off so that he'd leave us alone. But why would you do that if you haven't done anything wrong? To protect you and the memory of your mother. Oh, don't give me that. I've been asking you for ages who my real dad is, and you've lied to my face. You could have been honest with me, you could have broken this to me gently, but I have had to drag this out of you. That my father, who I never knew, is some murdering psycho who died 30-odd years ago. I'm sorry. Well, I want to meet Tim. That's not a good idea. Well, I could have half-brothers and sisters, I could have cousins. We are your family. What more do you need to know? I need to know who I really am. <sighs> Ronnie's taken Dad for a pint. We could join them if you like. No, I can't face it. Just ask girls, then. How are you bearing up? I'm not sure that I am. Dad was just doing what he thought was right. What has he told you? Everything, as far as I can tell. Ronnie wheedled it out of him. Poor Mum. According to Dad, she was a bit of a floozy. He said that. Well, not in so many words. We know they didn't have the most conventional marriage. I always had a feeling there was something he wasn't telling me. Now you know. Do I? I'm supposed to believe that my dad was just some money-grabbing psycho. Who killed himself years ago. My advice, Chris, forget about him. I can't. Oh, right, you still work here, then? Oh, sorry, it's my fault. I was distracting him. Yeah, well, you're good at that. Well, I'm not stark. Yeah, we've got bigger things to worry about. <sighs> what things? Just business. What, do you need my help? No, no, no it's fine. Now go and distract yourselves if you must. This is why he is the way he is. Hey, you can't think like that. OK, he's had his issues. But look at him now. He's sorted himself out. Has he? In a way, I can see why Dad wanted to cover it up. How do I tell Lucky that his real granddad was a complete nutter?